my hair is naturally very limp and lifeless, as Cheryl Cole would say. So I think this will give me that kind of 90s hair that's properly back. Welcome to Beauty Lab at Home, where we've been testing the latest new beauty products for my bedrooms. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. This week, we are testing the Remington Curl and Straight Confidence Rotating Hot Air Styler. It's basically a hot brush. Um, I've put this attachment on, but you get different ones. So this is what it looks like. And then it has a smoothing attachment as well so you like comb it through and it smooths the hair and it has a curling attachment as well it also comes with like a nozzle so you can dry your hair um kind of to about 80 percent before styling it i've recently tested and loved a very similar way more expensive product like i think it's actually 10 times the price of this so It'd be great to see if this can compare to that because if it does then I'll feel a bit like a bit, a bit shook to be honest. I've been watching a lot of friends and um, I'm obsessed with like their 90s big hair. Honestly I want to get loads of layers so I think this will give me that kind of 90s hair that's properly back. So yeah I've just freshly washed my hair and I'm going to be using this air styler to dry it but I'm hoping this will help recreate that kind of bouncy salon blow dry, but from my bedroom. <laughs> I can't get to grips with the rotating function. It keeps just sucking my hair up and then causing it to tangle. But I'm gonna just try using it as a hairbrush instead of trying to use the rotating function. Okay, so I'm really impressed with how nice and smooth it's left my hair, and I do think it's given it a nice bit of volume, probably more volume than I would get from just using my regular blow dryer. Then you get this brush, which is a bit that I'm probably gonna try now because obviously I'm coming from curly hair. I think to just put it on, you literally just pop this on like that. not really getting through my root as easily. I mean, for 60 quid, it's all right. Like it's not bad at all, but it's not revolutionary. So if you're looking for a bog standard kind of, just my, I want my hair to be straight. I feel like that's done like a pretty standard job. If you want it to be obviously straighter than this, then you'll need it to um, you'll need to use a straightener afterwards. Like this is never gonna be able to do the full ticket. But it's a good like bog standard hot styler for sure. And as you can see, my hair is naturally very straight, um, very limp and lifeless, as Cheryl Cole would say. Here we go. Okay, um, we're like halfway through. Um, I just wanna say that I feel like I'm getting better. This definitely needs a bit of practice and um, full disclaimer, this is the first time I've ever tried it, obviously. So um, I think we're getting better. Yeah. I really like some of that. I told you at the beginning I had bad hand-eye coordination and my God, I delivered. Um, it's just remembering what way it takes your hair up and what way it takes your hair down. This is the tong, just like a normal curling tong. But um, I'm guessing it's going to interestingly normally do a different one. It's going to blow heat through it. See all the little holes. So let's just finish off with this. My last hurrah. Ooh. Um, so, final thoughts. Um, I would definitely use this again, 
it is a bit tricky it's not as easy as i thought it would be just because i mean the thing is it's just i can't remember which way it is up and which way is down but i know that i'm bad because when i play my nintendo ds i'm the same i can't remember what anything is so that's tricky for me it's probably not tricky for you if you've developed hand-eye coordination skills it's easier than blow drying your hair because a my arms aren't aching because having long hair and holding up the hair, heavy hair dryer and a hairbrush so my arms don't ache it's easier but it just does take a bit of practice but i'm still quite impressed for a first attempt and i would definitely use it again and i would really recommend it i think if you can't blow dry your hair and you want like a bit of a cape mid yeah definitely thank you for watching beauty lab don't forget to leave a comment down below telling us what you want us to review next and we'll see you next time bye